Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer, CES, day two. Let's go. All right, here we are with SK, the CTO of Panasonic North America. Thanks for being with us. Hello, good morning. Um, good morning to you. You know, there's no surprise when we walk into CES that Panasonic's going to have a presence. You guys are really involved in the automotive industry. The new challenge is EV. So how do you do that? And we said to ourselves, well, hang on a minute, that's electronics. We, we've done a few things along the, that line. Yeah. We, we've had a broad footprint. So when you look at an EV car, for example, uh, the way I saw it was like you can break it down to the three particular aspects so you can try to figure out how to make a much more energy efficient car. The first thing is we looked at the mechanics of a car. Drivetrain, that yeah, kind of it, stuff. It's the motor behind it. And they said, well, hang on a minute. That sounds very similar too in terms of a concept in terms of the mechanical things that you have in a refrigerator. A refrigerator, it, okay. It, it may sound a little interesting to you, but yes. we thought that that's the, basically that's a function we have, and we have some very energy efficient refrigerators. We said, why don't we take that technology but apply it huh. in this particular user case? So that's one thing. The heat in the cabin is something that's also quite important, and that's the second most thing that the energy is really being used for. So we said, okay, you take the wind from the car that hits the radiator, do a few things and you have a little bit of a temperature difference and that helps us to, to kind of make sure that the environment is comfortable. And we said, wait a minute, that sounds a lot like our air conditioning air technology. Conditioning, yeah. yeah well, I mean, essentially that's what it is. Right. right. And the third one, when you look at EV, you've got to look at the batteries themselves. So right. you're trying to figure out how to get the cost, the economies of scales down. Right. You're trying to figure out how to extend and the boost life, the power and extend the life, the life the range. of it, and then the purging as well. So it doesn't kind of ruin the batteries. So we said, oh, laptop technology, yes, batteries. We're doing that. How do we figure out how to do that? So all those things combined is what you actually see out there on the boat today. And your lithium-ion batteries, you guys are using those in a bunch of cars. Audi, Volkswagen, Chevy, and you guys are working with Tesla as well, right? We've invested in Tesla. We've shipped the, uh, the new batteries to Tesla just last week. All right, so we're here with Werner uh, at the beautiful Audi booth. You guys have some really cool technologies that you guys are showcasing here today, including a heads-up display. Tell me a little bit about that. So that's not only one heads-up display. There's are three heads-up heads-up displays in the car. One for the driver, one for both, and one for the passenger. The driver is not allowed to get a video or Facebook or something like that. Right. But the passenger can do it. The passenger can save its time while traveling and do the conversation, like FaceTime. Take the whole video, not only uh, a standstill picture, you have the capability to see everything. On the other side is how to operate the things. Right. Of course, it couldn't be a touch screen because everything is projection, so we do it by gestures. We pick the information and we shift it to the relevant display where we like it. That's great. We saw Mercedes doing something similar to that, and I think that's definitely the next wave of infotainment control in the future. All right, so we're here with Henry. Uh, Henry is the head of infotainment for Kia. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. You guys are debuting an aspect to Uvo today here at CES. Tell me a little bit about it. For sure. So what we're talking about here today is a full suite of telematic services. So what are some of the features that uh, you guys offer with that? 911 assist, assist. enhanced roadside assistance and diagnostics, scheduled, on demand, and automatic. Uh, so you're driving down the road and the check, check engine light comes on. There's a closed loop process where you know you can get a first know what's going on in customer's terms, as well as create a reservation process with the dealership. Perfect. Does it tell you what's wrong with the car, or yes. does it just say, okay? It tells you in customer's terms. I mean, obviously, we don't want to get too technical, yeah. but something that the customer could understand. Hey, this is a critical issue. This yeah. is not a critical issue. You know, you can schedule an appointment later. So it's not a wiring diagram with uh, distributor caps that come up. Exactly. Yeah, okay. We have a suite of services for those like me. I have a 15-year-old daughter who's okay. going to drive soon, where you can do some monitoring. Geofence, speed alert, uh, curfew alert. We got a couple of interesting vehicles behind us. Tell me a little bit about these. So uh, those are concepts. We have the Ray AV, which is a fully electric vehicle. And we have the name one here, which is a live vehicle. Next concept of full entertainment, next generation of infotainment systems. We have our UCD concept. Basically, it talks about head-up displays and as well as reconfigurable clusters and things like that. So the IVI concept, there's inductive charging on there. That's right. There's near-field communication. That's right. Because there's just a pad between the passenger and driver. Exactly. You stick your phone on it, charges it charges. up. It's all about removing the clutter and providing the customer a better experience. 
All right, so this is the solo wheel. I'm riding solo on this. It is an alternative form of walking, I guess. It's an internal gyroscope, so as I lean backwards, I go backwards. It balances for me, like what we've seen in the Segway. Just came out in October, Jackie Chan's company, about $1,800, recharges in two hours, goes 10 to 15 miles an hour, and has a range of 10 to 15 miles. There's also cool things you can do, like what she's doing. I've got training wheels on mine because I'm not nearly as good as her. Turning is not easy uh, with training wheels. There we go. Okay, all right, thinking man. How about businessman? Yeah, where, where are you on that one? Don't judge me, America. I'm learning. And education is the only real investment these days, so keep that in mind. All right, another year, another CES in the can. As always, we found a bunch of cool stuff, but don't worry, we'll be back next year, CES. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.